Grasses have adapted over millions of years to survive grazing and fires. Grassland is host to a myriad of insects, spiders, snails, reptiles, mammals and birds. What makes a grass? They have long narrow leaves with parallel veins. The small flowers are made up of spikelets. Each spikelet has two scales around glooms. Inside the glooms are the florets. If you pull the leaf away from the stem and look closely with a hand lens, you will see a ligule. This is an important identification feature. To see what's living in the grassland, sweep across it with a net. The flying creatures leave straight away, but you're still left with plenty of interest. This is a mirrored bug nymph, and you can see the tiny wing buds forming. These feed off developing fruits and seeds. Young greenfly nymphs also have tiny wing buds and feed on grass sap. The pollen comes from these anthers, giving one in five people hay fever. The Corius shield bug is commonly found on sorrels and docks and is brilliantly camouflaged. You've probably all seen the spittle on grasses as you walk about. Do you know what it is? Well, I'll show you. Do you want to see? Get yourself a hand lens. Open it up and there are spittle bugs. Creating a wildflower meadow is largely down to management. You need to let the plants grow and cut them once they have set seed. Yellow rattle helps because it is semi-parasitic on grass roots and creates an open structure. Once the meadow is cut, and this could be July or August, let the seeds drop out for a few days, then remove the cuttings. The soil gets weaker and weaker, and you might even get some orchids. Grasses are unique amongst plants in that their growing tip is at the base of the leaf. This means that damage to the tip doesn't kill the plant, and they can survive grazing and mowing. Ah. Well, you can see how dense this is. This has been one year without cutting. Very nutrient rich soil gives coarse grasses, broom, Yorkshire fog, coxfoot, and then we have plantain, dock, oxide daisies, everything tall and strong, shades all the wildflowers, the delicate wildflowers. Now this meadow, I cut every two years. Already, it's a lot more open. There's still coarse grasses here, but things like sweet vernal grass 
I've moved in. The ground is more open. Wildflowers, delicate wildflowers can get a grip. Mammals can run, beetles can hunt. Already there's an improvement. Antils can take years to grow. The ants collect debris, farm aphids and are fed on by green woodpeckers. The larvae of this metallic green beetle are wood borers. The adults feed on flowers. They have a more complex life cycle and need a more stable habitat. As the year moves on, the aphids multiply and predatory insects such as ladybirds move in to feed. Midges dance in the evening sun and are hunted by swallows. And then it is night time. Out come the moths from their hiding places and these attract bats. The complexity continues. 